GCSE Geography, Economic Development in the UK. In this video, we're going to be looking at multiple things. So you might want to use the timestamps to go around the video. So we're going to be looking at how the UK economy has changed, the three main causes of this, impacts of industry on the physical environment, improvements to the transport network, UK links to other countries, the North-South divide, and how the government resolve regional differences. How the UK economy has changed. It used to be based on manufacturing, however since the 1960s this has declined and tertiary industries and quaternary industries have grown. In the UK, the proportion working for tertiary and quaternary sectors have increased. In 2017, 4 million people were employed in services, 670,000 in information technology, finance as homes in many financial headquarters, and research, £33 billion was spent in 2016. In the UK, the proportion working for tertiary and quaternary sectors has increased in 2017 with much more. How the UK economy has changed. Quaternary industries are increasingly found in science or business parks. There is a large and growing demand for high-tech products. Science parks can help develop new technologies for these products. The UK has a high number of respected research universities for businesses on science parks to form links with. Three main causes of economic change in the UK. The first one is deindustrialization. The UK's industrial base declined as increased automation led to job losses in manufacturing industries. As other countries industrialized, they could produce goods more cheaply than the UK. This increased competition forced the UK manufacturing industries to close. Globalisation. A lot of manufacturing has moved overseas where labour costs are lower. Some TNCs, which is transnational corporations, have moved some of their tertiary and quaternary operations to the UK. Trade with other countries is an increasingly important part of UK GDP. Government policies. Government decisions on investment and support for business affect the economy. In the 1980s, several key managing manufacturing industries had been owned and run by the government and they were all privatised, leading to major job losses. Impacts of industry on the physical environment. Industry can have negative effects on the environment. Pollutants, greenhouse gases, using lots of water and energy. Modern industrial developments are more environmentally sustainable. The Unicorn Group in Lisbon, Northern Ireland, gets 100% of its electricity from renewable resources and reduces waste by recycling leftover steel and plastic. Improvements to the transport network. Congested transport networks can slow economic development, so the UK is improving its roads by improving the capacity on motorways to smart motorways with extra lanes, Railways by the Crossrail project, which will increase central London's rail capacity by 10%. In airports, UK governments have agreed to create new runways in the southeast, and you may know about Heathrow. Ports as well. So, new ports are opening. For example, London Gateway in 2013 allowed the world's largest container ships useful for global trade. <coughs> UK links to other countries. Trade. Globally, overseas exports are £160 billion per year. Culture. There's many creative industries, especially in the creative capital, London. For example, Shaun the Sheep was shown in 170 countries. Transport. The Channel Tunnel links UK to France and mainland Europe. Electric communications. Telephones, internet and transatlantic cables allow communication between countries. The European Union, which is formed of 27 countries. However, this is not exactly relevant as the UK did leave in 2020. The Commonwealth, 54 states, promotes cooperation within those countries. The North-South Divide. The decline of heavy industries have had a mostly negative impact on the north of UK. 
The growth of the post-industrial service has mostly benefited the South. Wages are generally higher in the South. Health is generally worse in the North. Education is generally better in the South. There are some exceptions, however, to this, such as Cheshire and Cornwall. How did the government resolve regional differences? So the first method is devolving more powers, which means letting areas govern themselves, for example, using local councils, which allows money to be used to benefit the community. Two, creating enterprise zones. Enterprise zones allow com companies to gain a range of benefits, such as reduced taxes, financial benefits, improved infrastructure. These measures encourage companies to locate to areas of high unemployment to bring jobs and income in. The Northern Powerhouse. This is the government's plan to reduce the inequality from the North-South divide by attracting investment into them, into the North, and improving transport links between Northern cities and spending £70 million improving Northern schools. Thank you for watching this long video. For more videos on GCSE Religious Studies, English, French and Geography, feel free to subscribe.